Hey guys, Tim Abrams here to talk about Pokemon Go, giving you my official review for the game. Uh, today we're sitting here in the loud, windy, and beautiful Madison Square Park in Derby, Kansas. Not the one in New York. Uh, sitting here, hopefully gonna get this game going. Hopefully not gonna get stopped by the cops, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. As always, let's start with the graphics. So the game is very colorful, but the palette for day and night are barely descriptive enough to know when the game is changing. The use of blues, yellows, and greens help describe areas such as roads, rivers, and fields, but it could have been expanded on a little bit more. But for a mobile app in what can be seen as a small game, it is miles above its competition. The app also has a mode which you can use in-game backgrounds instead of the real-world AR ones, which is a nice feature for those who have older phones. The game mechanics are fairly good as well. To catch a Pokemon, first you need to find them. By either walking around or by using a lure or incense, you can attract Pokemon to your screen and then select them to try and catch them. Once you have a Pokemon selected, you will be able to swipe up on your screen to throw a Pokeball at them. If you throw a ball in the white circle, you will be able to catch the Pokemon. If you throw it in the other circles, you will have a better chance of the Pokemon staying in your ball. This mechanic is flawed, however. As you get to a higher level, the balls seem to curve for no reason as well as Pokemon breaking out of balls easier. This seems to be put in place to make sure the game does not get stale as you get to a higher level, but it could also be seen as a way for the company to make sure you use up your Pokeballs so you would potentially have to buy more. The gyms in the game also have a lot of potential. When entering a gym, you can either fight the Pokemon there, or you can try to join your team if they own the gym. If you try to join your team, you'll build up the gym to become even stronger, and if you beat out the other team, you own the gym. Owning a gym right now is kind of pointless, seeing as it only gives you so many items and your gym will be beat out before you get a defender bonus. Finally, there are Pokestops, which are public landmarks that a person can go to in order to get more items like Pokeballs and potions. These stops can also be used to catch Pokemon when a lure module is used on them. Evolving Pokemon is easy in Pokemon Go. Having enough candies of a certain Pokemon in Stardust is easier than the game's predecessors, but to evolve rare Pokemons, players need to travel to farther places and hatch as many eggs as possible. Eggs are items that you can potentially get from Pokestops that hatch after walking a certain amount of kilometers. The game does have some flaws though. The GPS in the game lags the app pretty bad, as well as the servers being unresponsive for hours at a time. It is kind of understandable though seeing as this app has already had more users than most social media apps, and that buying more servers while the game is very popular may lead to unused servers in the future. That can totally justify the small outages here and there. So is the game worth it? Yes, very much so. For a new type of game incorporating real-world gaming and virtual reality, the game is done very well. There could be a few more features to keep the game running more smoothly and make it more interesting, but hopefully that will come in time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give Pokemon Go 8.5 out of 10. And I think that's a good analysis, seeing as the servers keep crashing, they could do better with that. Also, there's a little bit of problems with the tracking the GPS. And still here. Ah, joke! Oh no! <laughs> no, I came back! <laughs> no! Oh, man. Alright, I don't want to brag guys, but uh, my collection's not bad. I have this Gyarados, which is pretty high level. It takes 400 Magikarp candy to evolve them. Not bad. I got, you know, this Flareon. It's, you know, it's pretty good. I didn't have to use your little naming technique to get him right. I just got him first try. Come at me. Uh, so yeah, also all my Pokemon are doctors. You know, not many people send their Pokemon through... Uh, med school but you know what it's worth it or not I don't know I think I might be going crazy 